Yo, what is going on people? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom loading screen. This can be used just for, you know, personal use, just so you can seek your logo, maybe when you're loading into DayZ. Or maybe you've got your own private server or you've got a public server and you want to actually make a custom loading screen to make your server look way much more professional and trust me they do look a lot professional if you've got you know your server logo there maybe you could have some rules on there anything you want really you'll be able to put on there we're going to jump into it please leave a subscription and leave a like if you are stuck with anything or you've got an error or anything like that please do let me know in the comments or you can also join my discord there's a lot of people in there that can actually help you out maybe if i don't respond straight away because i'm sleeping z z z z z but we're going to jump into it. I'll see you in a minute. So the first thing that i want you guys to do is i'm going to have a zip folder in the description to a link obviously to Mediafire or something like that. What I want you to do is obviously open up the zip folder. I'm sure everyone knows what zip is and how to open it. I want you to extract the zip folder to your P drive. Now the reason why things go in your P drive is obviously because you know a lot of actual game data maybe configs or something that the actual you know project might need will most likely be in your P drive. I'll have a card on screen or something like that where you can actually watch how to extract your P drive it's pretty easy and pretty simple and you even if you don't do modding i think you should still have a p drive to be honest personally so once you've extracted it into this folder you've got a folder called loading screen in there you'll have a data a script and a config now what i want you to do is i want you to go into the config file right here and this is what you should see if you don't see this then there's a problem and where it says author, obviously you're creating this now. So what I want you to do is obviously highlight this, delete Matthew Longtime and put your own name there. Or it could be your server name. Doesn't matter. Put your name, your server name, who cares. But you've got your name there at least. So it's going to work. So this down here is basically just, you know, just saying this is where the script is, you know, to read. So once you've done that, you can literally close that. Now we're sorted. Now, if we go to the data folder, you'll have an image here called a blank.png. What I want you to do is head over to your Photoshop, your GIMP, or your Paint, or whatever other tool you want to use. It doesn't really matter as long as you can obviously edit a PNG image. So I'll see you in a minute. Now, I actually prefer to use Photoshop as obviously... I know a lot about Photoshop and it's my favourite tool to use. You can use whatever you want as long as you can obviously edit the image. Now, all the editing is up to you from this point on. You can do what the hell you want. I won't recommend using transparent background. I don't know if that works, but I definitely would not use that. But for this, I'm just going to place my logo in the middle of the screen. So I'm just going to go to my pictures, get it, um, YouTube, find my logo somewhere in all of these thumbnails all this crap we're gonna find it there we go the Matthew long time logo we're gonna click enter and then what I want to do is I literally just want to go file save as PNG now you can save it as other file formats as long as this text view that I'll let you know read it but just save it as a PNG because obviously I'm doing that so you might as well follow on so now what you want to do is you want to sit go back to this folder as you can see so I'm just gonna close this down you don't need Photoshop or your editing software anymore. Now we've got blank.png. So we're sorted on that one. What you want to do is you want to head over to your Steam and open up Daisy Tools. Now obviously a lot of you probably have this. If you don't, literally it's as simple as going to library, hovering over it, going to tools and then in here pressing D and you'll find Daisy Tools there. Really simple, doesn't take that long to do. Now what I want you to do is obviously open up text view here you want to go file open and you want to actually find this image so i've already got it there so png now file save as where it says png you want to put it to p a a save that <coughs> close that down now you see i've got a blank p a a now you can call these images whatever you want so the blank.paa could be called loadscreen.paa. It doesn't matter. As long as when you go into load screen and scripts, three game, and then modded daisy game.c, as you can see, load screen data blank. So you could have a folder called load screen 
meme and then you've got your image but obviously data in daisy is obviously a texture it might be like that with other games but everyone uses data in daisy now if you want to be all by yourself and it make it so it's hard for people to find that that's the way to do it you know change folders up all that but i don't think anyone cares about you know using your image from your server i don't think people care that much but then also this you must make whatever it's called so mine's called blank.paa you must scroll down make this blank.paa and this blank.paa now i'm not too sure but i think you can have it to read png images but that makes your mod a lot bigger you know the size a lot bigger and obviously daisy reads paa so that's just the best way to go about it so now what you want to do i'm going to be using makiro tools so i'm going to open it up and as you can see i've got my makiro tools now we'll have a video to add on builder setup you can also use add on builder but i'm just going to use makiro tools for this as it's a lot easier for me to do so you must have this set up so it's going to be exclude from pbo it must be all the same as this i'll have a link to a paste bin with that text if you are using that now what you do with your source folder is you actually click source go to your p drive you find your loading screen so mine's here output project folder i'm just going to say i want it in at belly select folder and literally crunch this should not take that long as you can see it's already done now what we're going to do is i'm going to close this down i'm going to go to my daisy folder in here add-ons and i'm actually going to copy this now i've got a new folder we're going to create a new folder file new folder at lls you can call this whatever you want it doesn't matter but i'm just calling it that load screen you know right click again new add-ons make sure it's got a capital in it and make sure it's correct add-ons go in there paste your load screen now what you want to do is you want to go to your steam daisy right click run game now what you want to do is obviously you want to run the mods launcher now here i'm going to go to mods i'm going to go load mod daisy lls select load now i've got it obviously so it's set up to a run a custom map i'd recommend you just trying out chinaris just to test this out obviously if you've got your own server then you don't need to do that but mostly you probably will test it in offline mode i also have a card somewhere in this video about offline mode and how to set all that up if you're not too sure so literally you click play i'll show you in a minute where i'm gonna be at in game you're gonna love it you're gonna see it you're gonna be like wow this actually worked and you're gonna press that like button because if you don't press that like button i'll be very upset now as you gamers can see i've got an image here my logo is stretched but once you sort of get an image and you obviously put it all across the canvas it won't be stretched my logo is just stretched because of you know the way the image is it's just a circle and obviously it's trying to stretch it out it's a bit confusing but as you can see it does work this is how you get your server working with a custom load screen or just for personal use please do leave a like please do leave a subscription as i say do join my discord as everyone in there helps you out with anything you need we've got modelers we got scripters we got mappers we got all that good stuff you've also got mr matthew long time in there like i said leave a subscription leave a like if you are stuck please do leave a comment or you've got my discord and i'll see you guys next time adios amigos